It's Shalom One. Before I get started, I want to say, Call Halayim La, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, V'chach Kudash, which means give our praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His only begat Son, Yahweh Shai, which is our Lord and Savior, and to the Holy Spirit. Natham, Mashana, Kabbalah, La, Hajukayim, Shai, Asha'ala, which means give the bonus to the elders of Israel, which is the apostles and elders of great wisdom who teach and will wear. And Shalom wa Wa'ahal Bachayah Shayah Sa'Allah, which means peace and love to the leg of Israel. And coming back again through the spirit power of Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rechach Kudash, with another lesson on the brother Anna from the Jemesh Memphis Count. And the name of this lesson would be The Lord is Not Slack. So I'm going to get into it, let the scriptures do the talking, and all but what desire this lesson be edifying to the leg. So this Second Peter's 3 and 9. It said the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, is not slack concerning his promise. Right, and what's the Lord promise? The kingdom, salvation. And also destroying our enemies, man. Destroying Esau Edom, man. You know? So that's the Lord promise, man. You know, let's grab James. Two and five. It said, Hawking, my beloved brethren, and not the most high chosen the poor of this world. Which in faith and heirs of the kingdom, which he had promised to them that love him, right? Promised to them that love him, man. You see? So, hey, that's the Lord promised, man. The kingdom of heaven, man. But guess what? We got to endure. Let's jump over to 1 and 12, James 1 and 12. Blessed is the man that endure temptation. And guess what? The hour of temptation is coming fast, man. Fastly approaching, man. But Lord said in Revelation 3 and 10, he would keep us from that, man. You see? And those that endure to the end, the same shall be saved through much tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom of heaven. So we got to do it, man. It's a child of our faith. Uh, our faith. What's that? First Peter 4 and 12. But um, continue reading James 1 and 12. It said, Blessed is the man that endure temptation. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord had promised to them that love him. Why? This part of the Lord promise, man. He is not slack concerning his promises, man. You know, the, hey, we're going to receive crowns. Lord, can place a crown on, on our heads. You see, that's part of it, man. It's a let no man take that crown, man. You know, let's get one more. The book of Luke 12 and uh, 32. It said, Feel not. Let's start 31. Luke 12, 31. But rather seek ye the kingdom of the Most High, and all these things should be added unto you. It said, 32. Feel not, little flock. For it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Right. You see? So let's go back to the book of 2 Peter 3 and 9. It said, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. If some men count slackness. Right. You niggas count slackness, man. But it's good to say, do it till wait for it because it will surely come. And then you should know a prophet had been among you, man. But some men count slackness. Right, but some man count slackness, but it's long suffering to us with. Why right? he long suffered to us with, man? You see, to the ones that have uh, um, patient and have faith in him, man. You know, the Lord ain't coming back to save someone who don't have faith in him, someone who don't believe in him, man. You know, but coming, but the Lord Yahweh Shemesh is coming to save the ones that do, that do have faith and put their trust in him wholeheartedly, man. Let's grab second answers. Second Ezra 9 to 7. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed. Exactly. So, hey, but guess what? Everybody don't believe in Yahweh by Shem Shah. You know why? Because they count slackness, man. They're not looking for his second appearing. Because they lack faith. You know? And it's good to say in the book of Luke. Luke 18. And eight. It said, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, she so find faith on the earth. Why? Right? When the Son of Man cometh, she so find faith on the earth. In a team. It said, um, I tell you, he will grant justice to them quickly. But when the Son of Man returns, how many will he find on the earth who have faith? Why? Right. And the only one he's going to find on the earth that have faith is who? The elect. 
The only ones that go have faith when the Lord will turn is the elect and the one third. A very few chosen men and, and women, man. You know? A small women it. The Lord will I'm part of the elect chosen number, man. You see, cause that's who the Lord come back to avenge his elect. Jump off to jump off to seven says, Should not the most high avenge his elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he be along with them. Right, cause the Lord the Lord is long suffering, man. But people, you know, you niggas count that um a slackness, man. You see? But the Lord's not slack at all. Let's go ahead, Hebrews real quick. Hebrews 10. You know, Hebrews 10 and um 35. Hebrews 10 and 35. Whole chapter good. It said, Cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which had them which had great recompense of reward. Right, it's a uh, so do not throw away your confident trust in the Lord. Remember the great reward it brings you, right, man. You see, it said, For ye have need of patience, that after ye have done, Salaki, so like let me uh, real quick, gotta cut this stove off. Okay, so Hebrews 10 and uh, 36, For ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of the Most High, ye may receive the promise. Right, you may receive the promise. And a T, patient endurance is what you need now. And that goes back to what? Long suffering, patient endurance. You know what? Let's go back to 2 Peter and look the word uh, long suffering up. I'm going to come back to the book of Hebrews. So 2 Peter 3 and 9. Strong's G, 3114, Makrathumeo, Makrathumeo. Right, in the Greek definition, Alain Bigger uses to be of long spirit, not to lose heart. Right, what's it want to you that are faint hearted? You know, it said to, pers to persevere patiently and bravely in enduring misfortunes and troubles. Right, bravely enduring misfortunes and troubles, man. To be patient and bearing the offenses. And injuries of others. So white right, man. Then you go you jump down to the Strong's definition. It's said to be long spirited, uh, forbearing, patient, bear, suffer, long, be long suffering, to have long patience. Be patient, patiently endure. Patiently endure. Come on, man. So hey, long suffering. Let's go back to Hebrews. Hebrews ten and uh that it says in a T, patiently endurance is what you need now so that you will continue to do the most I will. And what's the most I will? Keeping his commandments, feeding his sheep, enduring. You know? It said, then you will receive all that he has promised, you know? So 37 KJV, for uh, yet a little while, and he that should come will come and will not tarry. But guess what? You niggas count slackness, man. You think the Lord is slack. You think the Lord is delaying his time, man. But warn to you, man. Scripture said, warn to you that have lost patience. The book of Sirach, the second chapter, man. You see? It said, behold, I come quickly, man. It said, throw a tear away for it. So for yet a little while, and he that should come will come and will not tarry. It said, 38, now the just shall live by faith. But if, if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. But we are not of them who draw back unto perdition, but of them that bleed to the saving of the soul. Right. Because that's who the Lord come back to save, to, to the ones that have faith in him, man. I just read 2nd Exodus 97. You know? So, hey, NLT, in my righteous one, Hebrews 10, 38, NLT, in my righteous ones, we live by faith. We walk by faith, not by sight, right? So, in my righteous one, we live by faith. But I would take no pleasure in anyone who turns away. Wait, you turn away from, uh, from this truth. You took your hand from the plow. Come on, man. You're going to be being with many stripes. You see? It said, but we are not like those who turn away from you. How much more shot? To their own destruction. That's exactly what you are doing. You know? We are the faithful ones whose souls will be saved. And Lord willing, we are the faithful ones. You know? Cause that's what the Lord come back to do. He come back to save the righteous and destroy and destroy the un, the unrighteous man. You see, it's um, what's that? Second Ezra fifteen. 
all the unfaithful dying ain't unfaithfulness, man. But we are the faithful ones, man. Hey, Luke, going back to Luke 18 and 8, man. You see, we are the faithful ones whose souls will be saved. And Lord willing, I will watch as the Lord undo save us, man. So we know his salvation, like I said, we know his long suffering is salvation, man. His long suffering is salvation. Let's go out scripture on that. Let's go back to 2 Peter in this same chapter, uh, 2 Peter 3 and uh, 15. An account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation. Cannot get around it, you know. But people don't have patience, man. They want to jump the gun and bench themselves. You know? But the scripture said, Blessed are the ones that wait on him, waiting patiently on him, man. Not avenging themselves, man. So, hey, in the, we just again, in the Second Peter 3 and 15, in the count that the long suffering of our Lord is, our, is salvation. And the team, remember, our Lord's patience give people time to be saved. Right? The Lord patience give people time to be saved. So, ultimately, what? Time to repent. Repent and return back unto Him, man. Repent from your wickedness, man. You know. So, hey, you know what? Let, let's get that count. Uh, uh, in this, uh, Second Peter's, no, First Peter's, First Peter's. Um, I'm gonna say the third chapter. First Peter's three. And 20. Yep, it said 1 Peter 3 and 20. Which sometimes were disobedient when once the long suffering of our power of the Most High waited in the days of Noah. While the ark was a, was a preparing, were in fear that is, eight souls were saved by water. Right? So this is the account. For, uh, in the um 1 Peter 3 and 20, those who disobeyed the Most High long ago, when the Most High waited patiently, when Noah was building his boat, building the ark, it said only eight people were saved from drowning in that terrible flood, man. And what did Lord Yahweh Shah say? So it was the days of Noah's, so would the son of man be, man. Like in the days of Lot, so would the son of man be, man. You know? So nothing new under the sun, man. People didn't believe back then, and they don't believe now, man. And, and, and that's what it is, man. That's how the Lord set it up that way, man. You see? So, hey, let's finish on uh, 2 Peter 3 and 9. It say, uh, uh, starting back over to the top. It says, the Lord, 2 Peter 3 and 9, so the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, right? You know, delivering the righteous, you know, the ones that believe in him, that have faith in him, you know, uh, uh, wiping away all tears from my eyes, you know, remembering. Uh, his covenant on, on, for Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you know, delivering the elect, man, the kingdom of heaven. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, man. If some man count slackness, man, and the one that uh, the count slackness is the, is the unbelievers, man. You know, the ones that went back in the world, you know, a part of this beast system, man, that believe in Esau science and shit, man. They count slackness, man. It said, but it's long suffering to us. Why right? he long suffering to us, all, man, for our salvation, man. For you no, know, for uh, same chapter three and fifteen. It said, um, but it's long suffering, long suffering to us, what not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Why right? that all should come to repentance, and the only one they're gonna repent is who the elect, the elect, man, and that's it, man. So the Lord is not slack on delivering the righteous, nor destroying the wicked, you know, destroying the unbelievers, you know, you, you devils, you heathens, you know, and, and also destroying Babylon the great, man. You know what? Let's uh, end it with Sirach. Because the Lord come back to do two things, deliverance and destruction. The Lord not slack, man. What is it? The plague slack not a moment. Come on, man. So this is Sirach 35 and 18. For the Lord Yahweh Bashem Mashiach will not be slack, neither will the mighty be patient toward them, till he has smitten and sunned the loins of the unmerciful, right? Till he kill, you no, know? till he had killed them, man, destroyed them. It's a, of the unmerciful, and will pay vengeance to the heathen. Come on, and the, and the top heathen is who? You Amalekites, you heathens, Esau, 
eat them. You eat them mites. It said, when pay vengeance to the heathen, till he had taken away the multitude of the proud and broken the scepter of the unrighteous. Right? Destroying Esau's kingdom, man. The Lord is not slack. He said, his sins have reached unto, uh, unto the heaven. He angry with the Most High. It's like he is angry with the wicked every day. No slip of the tongue. You know, Psalm 7 11, man. You know, Amos 9 8 and other scriptures, man. So the Lord is not slack at all, man. He gonna destroy this devil. He said, Behold, I come quickly, man. But so 19. That he have windowed to every man according to his deeds and to the works of, of man according to their devices. Till he have judged right according to their works, man. You know, <laughs> so right. Because everybody going to be judged in their body, whether it be good or evil, man. You know what? Revelation 22 and 11. Revelation 22 and 12. And behold, I come quickly. And my reward is with me to give every man a corner as his works should be. Right, according to their deeds, man. So Lord not slack on his on his return. Prophecy is, is speaking, man. I have a good two and three. Don't tell, wait for it. It should surely come, man. So going back to Sabbath 35 19, till he has window to till he had window to every man according to his deeds, and to the works of man according to their devices, till he had judged the cost of his people and made them to rejoice in his mercy. Right? His people. Which is who? The Israelites. The so-called black Spanish Latinos and Native American Indians, and also to the Israelite foreigners that make scattered across the four winds of the earth whose spirit goes back to Israelite. You know, stone with their elect. We are the one we are the ones that gonna rejoice in his mercy, man. Abu Watiza. You see? So the Lord come back to destroy Esau Edom, this rulership, this this kingdom, to set up his kingdom, man. He said, Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. So, Lord, when I hope you was edifying, just going in on that, that the Lord, yeah, much my shot, it's not slack at all. Good son of his promises, man. You know, good son of his, the, the prophecies, man, his word. You see, he a man that he should not lie. So, Lord willing, this lesson will edify once again, give our praises. Honor and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Rechakodash, the honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who teach and will wear in peace and love to the elect. With that, Shalom, Kamash Allah, Wabababah.